Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. Holiday gaming memories, we've all got them. In today's episode, we are gonna focus on favorite holiday gaming memories of not just us, but two of our fellow YouTubers. Yes, today we brought on Kella Splash Gaming and Retro Tony, two of our favorite YouTube friends. And speaking of favorites, we're drinking one of our favorite holiday beers. Today we're drinking Shiner Cheer. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a holiday beer if you care to, and enjoy this episode of Gaming Off The Grid. Alright, here we go. If you're a gamer, you know you have a favorite holiday gaming memory. That Christmas Eve was a sleepless night. You were tossing and turning in bed. Wait a minute, was that Santa's feet that I just heard on the roof? And you're wondering, is that Nintendo going to be under my Christmas tree? The PS2 going to be under my Christmas tree? The N64 going to be under my Christmas tree? And you could not sleep or wait until that next morning when you woke up to see if Santa Claus brought you your hopes and dreams. In today's episode, we are going to focus on that. And first up is Chris from Telesplash Gaming. He has a great channel and keeps churning out amazing content and he has an impeccable ability to tell stories so I cannot wait to hear his favorite holiday gaming memory. Chris, take it away. Tubers and Trolls, Chris here with Telesplash Gaming and I'm so excited to bring to you my favorite Christmas memory. Now I have quite a few actually because I've always been a gamer but I've and they've always been around Nintendo. For some reason, Nintendo is always involved in my Christmas memories. But the one that I just love and is in my memory like it happened yesterday is the Christmas of 06, the launch of the Nintendo Wii. Now the Nintendo Wii came out in November, right before Christmas, and in the Pacific Northwest, it sold out. You couldn't find it anywhere. And my little brother Colton wanted one so bad. And he was hoping to get one that my dad met a guy on Craigslist, paid an extra 50 bucks on top of the 250 asking price that it is new at the store just to get it. So he, my dad already paid way more than it was worth just to get it for my brother. Now me, being the troll that I am, I had to make sure my brother did not know he was getting a Wii. So we're all sitting there Christmas Eve and I had gone to GameStop and bought some old GameCube sports titles and put them in a bag and my brother was going to open those before he opened the Wii, just to deflate his attitude so he knew he wasn't getting a Wii for Christmas. So you could literally feel the tension. He was so excited at 9 years old, 10 years old at the time, he was so excited that he might get a Wii. He wasn't sure. My dad had been telling him it was hard to find, they were expensive, and that, you know, don't get your hopes up. But being a 9-year-old kid, you still have that hope. So we're sitting on the tree, we're doing our Christmas on Christmas Eve with my family, and I reach down, I hand my brother the bag. Now, I've got PlayStation 2 sports titles in here because I don't have any old GameCube titles, but anyway, it'll work. So my brother gets ready to open and he feels a game and he's so excited. And he pulls it out and it's a GameCube title from 2003. He reaches down, pulls out another one, another GameCube title from a few years ago. He instantly puts it in the bag and he's deflated, he's done. I got him right where I want him. He didn't say thank you, he didn't say anything. He actually got in trouble, my parents were like, Colton, you tell your brother thank you for buying you those games. We had him in the palm of our hands at that moment. He knew he was getting a GameCube and not a Nintendo Wii. So my parents bring over his present, he knows it's a GameCube in the bag, he grabs it, totally sad, pulls a little wrapping paper out, Looks down. Oh, wee! Oh, wee! And he lifts it in the air like Excalibur. And then he holds it in his chest and he rocks back and forth. Oh, wee! Oh, oh, oh. And that was the best Christmas memory. Keep rolling, keep trolling. We knew Chris wasn't gonna disappoint, but that is a really good story. Yeah, he is so good at telling stories. He's just nonstop trolling, and it is hilarious. Absolutely, so make sure you get over to check out Telesplash Gaming. If you like our content even a little bit, we assure you, you will like what he's doing over on that channel. And now, let's jump into Retro Tony's favorite gaming memory. We met him at Mo Game Con a couple months ago, so this is gonna be really cool to see. 
How's it going guys? Tony here and today I'm going to share my all-time favorite Christmas morning memory. Just one. And Gaming Off The Grid, really great channel. Subscribe to them. They put this collaboration together. Super stoked to be doing this. Really cool guys. Met them at Mo Game Com. Subscribe to them if you have not. And I started thinking about all of my Christmas memories growing up. All the great consoles, all the great games. And it boiled down to one. I absolutely love the Super Nintendo system. It is my absolute favorite system of all time. I collect everything and anything Super Nintendo related. I absolutely love the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. You all know that. And yes, I do. I do. I do. So, a little bit of background. It was the Christmas of 1992. And... At that point in time, the only system we had was an Atari 2600. We didn't even have an NES. We had a buddy down the road who had an NES, and we really didn't like him that much, but we went over to his house and we were friends with him so we could play good games like Mario 1, 2, and 3, Zelda. And anyway, we begged my parents to get a Super Nintendo system, and begged them, begged them, begged them, all the way up to Christmas, and just pestered them. And lo and behold, Christmas morning came, and my parents, they were a little tricky, and they still are, they still try to be, or whatever. And the first gift we open is a gift certificate to a local rental store, Cinema Plus, and it was just enough money to rent a Super Nintendo system. Back then, you could actually rent consoles and games, etc. And we were like, gosh dang it. And they're like, yeah, maybe you can go rent one tomorrow if they're open if they have one. So anyway, we started opening up our presents, and it, it was getting towards the end and they they bought they brought one more out and it was a box about this size and opened it up freaked out and it was this system the super nintendo and my brother and i freaked out you could tell that it still means a lot to me because i still own my original super nintendo yeah yellow plastic and all <laughs> I love this thing I will never ever get rid of it Super Mario World we played the heck out of that my parents also let us rent a few classics Super Mario Kart and just fell in love with video gaming at that point in time and that is my number one Christmas morning memory all right, that was a fantastic memory and a fantastic console. The Super Nintendo is killer. Yeah, I know. That's one of your favorite systems of all time, and it was kind of before my time, but I can imagine being a kid and getting that and freaking out, but I wasn't born yet. Yeah, you got to get over and check out Retro Tony's channel. What an awesome guy. We met him at Mo Game Con, and he was very humble. He's got a really big channel, actually, a very good following. Does a lot of good things over on his channel. And uh, right away, he was like, hey, guys, just very down to earth. And then he was uh, willing to be a part of this video, which is crazy, because we are merely a fly on a elephant's ass with the size of our channel. So it was awesome that he was willing to be a part of this. Thank you so much, Retro Tony, and make sure you check out his channel. So now, tell me about one of your favorite gaming memories. There was a lot to go through, but there's one that stands out above all others, and it is the Christmas of 1998. My brother and I got the Nintendo 64, and it was a really cool year because we're four years apart, and we both were really into that system. I remember when we got the NES, he wasn't quite as on board with it, and the Super Nintendo, the same thing. But the N64, we both wanted that really bad. Our neighbors up the street got one as well. They got different games than we did, and from that point forward, it was two to three years straight of tons of four-player gaming. We played a ton of GoldenEye, we played a ton of the wrestling games by THQ back then, Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart 60. The list goes on and on, but the Christmas of 98 changed my gaming life forever. And it's weird that you bring up the N64 because that's one of my favorite gaming memories of all time. I remember when I was a young kid, Christmas Eve, I went down to grab some water and my parents were wrapping presents and I saw the 64 sitting out and I was like, hmm, I'm an only child, I wonder who that's for. So then the next morning I came down and I opened it up and spoiler alert, if there's any kids watching you should probably stop right now because it said, to Robert from Santa Claus. And that's when I discovered Santa Claus wasn't real, sadly. But I got the N64, and it was awesome, and I had all the Star Wars games for it, Shadows of the Empire, Star Wars Episode One Racers, 
So many sweet games. Yeah, there were a couple really good Star Wars games on the N64. The really unique thing is we didn't talk about this prior to shooting the episode, and we're from two different gaming yeah. generations. And like the intersection of our gaming lives happened at the N64 and we didn't even know it. So it's really cool that we both had that as our favorite gaming memory. So that is our favorite gaming memory. Make sure in the comment section below you tell us yours. And speaking of memories, let's talk about one of our favorite holiday beers. Yeah, and so many memories are actually not in very good condition thanks to this <laughs> beer. This is a fantastic winter beer. It's such a timeless and consistent winter beer out of Shiner, Texas. And it's very unique because they use peaches in this brew, peaches and pecans. Which is really cool because I've heard that peaches were put there by a man <laughs> in a factory downtown. <laughs> That's a that's a, it's possibly the case, but it's one of the uh, peak seasons in Texas, I think, for peaches. So that's why it made it into this beer. So this is really a very unique beer to to the state of Texas, and it is uh, just a beer year after year that I look forward to on store shelves. You know, there may be better holiday beers, but nothing really puts me in the mood quite like a good cold Shiner cheer. Yeah, and it's one of those beers where every holiday season I'm excited for it. It's like the Samuel Adams beer that we talked about earlier, and it's. It's so good and it's so unique. It has that fruit flavor, the peaches, and it's just, it's so good. Yeah, we're a big fan of the Shiner Brewery, Shiner Bach, a lot of the different beers that they do. This beer right here is the pinnacle of what they are doing down in Shiner, Texas. This has been a really fun collaboration episode. Make sure you check out Telesplash Gaming and Retro Tony and enjoy yourself a cold Shiner cheer. And before we go, since it's the holiday season, I have a gift for you. Oh, holy cow. So, Merry Christmas. Uh-oh. Mary had a little Christmas. Isn't that rabbit paper dope? It is. It's got uh, the DC squad on it. <laughs> Dude, you're really good at rabbit paper. <laughs> Holy cat crap. Well, there's some candy. <laughs> this isn't going to help us get things done. The Beavis and Butthead complete collection. So, uh, yep. Time to lose ourselves. Yep, pretty sure we're going to be uploading a little less frequently. And as always, thank you for your continued support and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time on Gaming Off the Grid. But this is the pinnacle of what they do down there in Shiner Check. <laughs> I almost fucking just spit my bitch. <laughs> Shiner <laughs> Checks. Checks. <is. laughs> I almost lost everything. Wow. Wow. Brutal. <laughs> Shiner <Shattered> checks. <laughs> Dude, all my exes live in Texas. <laughs> all my exes live in Texas. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> okay. This beer right here is the pinnacle of what they are doing down there in Shiner. <laughs> 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 wow.